Okay, so now we are going to do a little tutorial on uh, D versus T graphs or position versus time graphs when we move the origin. So I've got two examples set up here. We've got uh, on top, I've got two graphs that I'm going to work with here in a second where we're going to be walking to the right then returning at a constant velocity. And then we're going to move the origin and we'll do the same motion. Then down below we'll do two different graphs with uh, throwing a ball at a wall and having it bounce back. Alright, so on the top, on the left, on the left graph here, um, we're going to start, and I'm going to change my color here, let's go a nice blue. Um, we're going to we're going to start by putting the origin um, where the individual starts walking. So if they're walking to the right, that means they're going to have positive velocity. So that means they're going to slope up. Then they're going to return at constant velocity. So it's going to slope back down to the original. So we're going to start here at the origin. We're going to slope up. Sorry, pen's not working. And it's going to slope back down. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can clean that up. Let's try that again. All right. So trying again. Start at the origin. Sloping up. Pretend that's a straight line and slope back down. Now, we're going to change the origin on the right to uh, where the turnaround point is. So where the person turns around is where we're going to move the origin to. Now, you will notice something. The motion doesn't change, just the origin. So the graph will not change. Only the position of the graph will change. So we will have the same shape. So if the origin is uh, at the turnaround point, that means the person must be left of it to begin with. Left means negative, so that means he's going to start down here, walk up to the turnaround point, hit the turnaround point, and come back down. You'll notice it is the exact same shape, it just occurs in a different location, positive or negative, because we moved the origin. Now, down to the bottom, uh, we are going to start by saying we're going to throw a ball against the wall. Now, I'm going to initially throw this ball to the left. So that means it's going to have a, a negative velocity initially. Um, we're going to start the origin, in this case, on the left-hand side here, at where the ball is thrown and caught. So if the ball is starting at the origin, it would start, and if it's moving to the left initially, it would go down, go down, go down, hit the wall, and come back and return to the origin. Now you will see the same thing here on the right in just a moment because again the motion of the ball does not change so that means that the graph's shape will not change it will just be in a different position. So if now we put the origin at the wall where the ball bounces to the wall all right, and we're throwing it left initially that means it must be right of the wall to begin with, which would be positive. Position goes down to the origin, which is the wall, and bounces back and comes back. All right. So the key things to remember here is when you're changing the location of the origin is the graph itself does not change. The shape of the graph does not change because the motion is not changing. However, what we consider to be positive or negative does change.